Hi, I'm Kim Duncan with the Education Division of the American Chemical Society. In the last two years, there have been several serious incidents involving the so-called rainbow flame test. This is because teachers often use metal salts dissolving methanol or ethanol to conduct the experiment. Both methanol and ethanol are extremely flammable solvents and can cause serious injuries if not handled properly. So what we're going to show you today is a much safer alternative using those same metal salts and water instead of methanol or ethanol. But before we get underway, let's talk about safety. If you're performing this experiment, you need protective gear, such as a lab coat as well as safety goggles. For those of you with long hair, you're going to want to tie it back. Also, if anyone's watching the experiment, they should have their long hair tied back as well and should also be wearing safety goggles. This experiment involves an open flame, so we're going to take some extra precautions. The test involves lighting these splints, so we have a dish of water right here to extinguish them as soon as we're done. Also, we're going to make sure that our Bunsen burner here is secured and it won't tip over. You'll also want to make sure that your work surface is clear of any flammable materials. The National Fire Protection Association recommends demonstrations involving open flames, fire, or the use of flammable, reactive, toxic, or corrosive chemicals be performed with an impact-resistant barrier between the demonstration and the students. The barrier should be at least two feet high and a foot away from the demonstration on each side. If you don't have a barrier, make sure that the students are at least 10 feet away from the demonstration. And of course, don't block the exit. So let's get to the experiment. We've got six metal salts here. We have calcium chloride, copper chloride. You'll notice the copper is green. The rest of them are colorless. And then we have some lithium chloride, potassium chloride, and then we have some sodium chloride. That's good old table salt. And finally, strontium chloride. I'd like to note that historically, this experiment has also been done with barium chloride. But it's very toxic and should be avoided. Now we've put the ends of the splints in the six solutions and we let them soak overnight. And we're gonna put the tip of the splints in the flame one by one and we'll see the characteristic color that the metal produces. Remember, when you're lighting your burner, to use a striker. I've got one here. If you don't have strikers, you can use a match. But remember to light the match before you turn on the gas. Make sure the air vent on your burner is closed, turn on the gas, light the burner, and then adjust the airflow. So now we're ready to begin. As you see, I have the Bunsen burner lit, but you actually can't really see the flame that well. It's almost a colorless flame. So the first solution I'm going to do is calcium chloride. And you can see I kind of keep it moving in the flame because I don't want my splint to catch on fire. But you can see that calcium has a very deep orange color. The second one I'm going to do is the copper chloride. You can see it's got a deep green color. And not surprisingly, its flame is a beautiful blue-green. I think this one is one of my favorites. The next one is lithium chloride. which has a really deep red color. Next is potassium chloride, which is a little hard to see. You can see it's got a, like a pinkish violet color. I think it's the hardest one to see of all of these. Next is our sodium chloride. and it's got a nice, beautiful, yellowish-orange flame. And finally, we have strontium chloride, which is again red, but this one is a little more orange-red. As you can see, as I put the splints into the flame, I kept my hand to the side and not up top, never put it over the top. So that's it. A quick reminder to always make sure that you properly dispose of all of your materials. And if you have extra splints, you can let them dry and reuse them. They work just as well when they're dry. 
just be sure to store them safely. Thanks for watching, have fun, and stay safe.